Oh, excuse me. Sorry about the the video there. Um, I uh, didn't finish telling you what happened. Um, so yeah, these incelly weirdos. They um, then, in order to distract from the fact that they were wrong, that this game uh, would not sell like crazy. Um, they said it would sell like crazy, and, you know, of course, someone who actually knows what they're talking about, me, told them, nah, this ain't a big deal, dude. Brand new IP made by a bunch of fucking nobodies. Consoles only launched PS5, that's the only console people can buy it on. PS5's only sold a 50 million units so far. It's not bad, but, you know, it's also a $70 fucking single player only game. And uh, their reputation is they make sexy phone girl games. That doesn't sound very impressive, man. Doesn't exactly sound like they made a Zelda once upon a time. Just saying, man. Like, these fucking scrubs are new to this game, dog. You really think they have what it takes to launch a fucking good fucking game? And they did, actually. It's okay. It's not a bad game, but it's not great. It's definitely not super groundbreaking and amazing. No, it's nothing special. It's totally passable. It's the kind of game that, like, maybe one day you find it for ten bucks and you're like, yeah, okay, fuck it. Oh, yeah, that wasn't so bad. Uh -huh. <laughs> that's what that's what Stellar Blade is, man. Admit it, dude. Fucking admit it. Stop being a fucking cuck about it. Jesus Christ. Be real, man. Get fucking real, dude. Because if you see some of the critic uh, re user reviews, dude... They're by a lot of fucking names that are very samey with numbers on the end of them. And then if you look to see what reviews they've left in the past, all of them only seem to be leaving one review each time on each account. Just one review saying Stellar Blade is a 10 out of 10. Amazing gameplay, characters, graphics. It's next gen cutting edge video game, blah, 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 blah. Same kind of rhetoric. Not actually going into detail, breaking down all the little things. Not actually sounding very human, honestly. This is fucking largely inflated, obviously. This is some dumb shit. And you saw this with Hog Farts Legacy. It had like a 9.2 or 3 or 4 at one point from the user review. I think it dropped down to like an 8.9 finally. Like, people started realizing, yeah, that's, that's more accurate, you know? It's actually closer to a lower 8, but whatever. There are a lot of fake people making that number fucking higher than it should have been, obviously. This is what these weird incel gamer gators do. They make a bunch of fake accounts and then they, they give blind praise over and over again. It's pathetic, dude. It's fucking stupid. But that's why you can't trust a lot of the user reviews sometimes. If a cadre of fucking Nazi lover, little fucking incel -y, just gross little weirdo creep types, if they fucking show up, man, yeah, for like Last of Us 2's user rating, yeah, they downvoted that shit to hell, dude. I think it eventually caught up to like a 5, but yeah, they had it at like a 2 or a 3, man. And that's like really stupid, because the game's mostly good. Last of Us 2 is mostly good. Even if you don't like the story, man. The gameplay, the graphics, the sound, it's pretty damn top-notch. They did a good job in that regard. It's a really long game, so it's pretty worth your money, you know? It's not too shabby. You can't really beat it in, like, five hours. It's not like the bouncer on PS2. <laughs> but yeah, man, um... So, this game is not a big deal. But they acted like it was going to be the biggest fucking thing. And it's going to piss off all the leftist gamers. And it's like, no man, I want the game to be good. That's fine, sure. I don't care. It's not that good though, so that kind of sucks. Maybe, uh, maybe they'll make a sequel one day and it actually won't suck. <laughs> nah, the game doesn't totally suck. But some things about it do suck. What's funny, too, is, like, you Gamergator weirdo freaks, you would call this a Mary Sue game. You would call it a walking simulator normally. But no, instead you chose to use it as some kind of rallying game to push an agenda that you guys 
are pushing, which is the anti-leftist, anti-feminist, anti-woke, anti-anybody who's not a straight white Christian right-wing dickhead male, basically, you know? And then there's some of you assholes who are actually not white, but you, you know, act like you are, which is fucking stupid and pathetic. Jesus Christ, you, you fucking freaks are not white, all right? You might be white passing, like, light-skinned, but if a racist finds out that you got some, like, Asian in you or Indian in you or whatever the fuck, you're an abomination. You're a mutt. You're a sick freak. You're imperfect. You're a half-breed. We should throw you in a camp. That's what they ultimately think, dude. They're fucking Nazis, okay? They're fucking weirdos. Like, these people suck. They think they're better than other people. See, I'm smart about it. Because I had a proper education about it. So I know that I'm not better than anybody. I know I was just lucky and edu actually educated on the truth. That racism is stupid and wrong. Duh. So I'm not like that. But a lot of these dumb motherfuckers aren't educated, so they, they think this shit's legit, you know? When in reality, they are just wrong and stupid. They are uneducated. Man, I'm tired. I forgot my original point. But anyway, um... Yeah, these terrible gamers, um, they're taking a big fucking L on this right now because they were acting like it was going to sell over 10 million copies. It really doesn't seem like it's going to be doing that, dog. This ain't anything special. My goodness. I'm actually kind of disappointed. I was hoping it would be better. Because from the sound of it, it sounded like it was going to be kind of like a, a Soulsy experience. And I was like, oh, that might be kind of cool. I like those games. Probably not. I'm not, uh, like I said, I wasn't crossing my fingers. Like I said, I do my research. I was like, who are they? Nobody's. What are the odds that they'll do a good job? Probably not that high. And I was right. They did an okay job, better than I thought, but still not great. Still not like, wow, that is definitely, wow, that is one of the better games of the year for sure. You should check that out. No, I'm not doing that, dude. That's not this game. Sorry. It's not that good. Voice acting is pretty bad. Storytelling is pretty bad. Character models look great in some areas, but not so good in other areas. Bad guys are very unmemorable. There's some on-rail segment, button mashy kind of uh, quick time of any stuff that's stupid. Nobody likes that in their games, man. Get real. Not really. That's a very unpopular thing to have in the game. Push this button right now. Oh, uh, hurry up. Don't be too slow. Now push this one. Uh -huh. A thing is happening on screen. Two characters are punching each other. Press this button to make him punch him now. Oh, hurry up. Don't miss it. Yeah. Like, if that's your game, it sucks, dude. <laughs> that part of the game sucks. Like, that shit blows. One of the reasons why Resident Evil is kind of overrated, they put a little bit too much of that crap in their game sometimes. Like, ugh. Sorry guys, Resident Evil 4, great game and everything, but it's not perfect. That shit was fucking stupid, you gotta admit. Or the mine cart, that was dumb. But anyway. Anyway, what was I saying? Uh, Stellar Blade, yes. This game, um, not very good. So, uh, these guys don't like looking like they're, they were wrong or embarrassed, right? They don't like being reminded by assholes like me. Ha ha, you said it would be a big deal. It's a fucking joke. This game's nothing special, you fucking idiot. You don't have good taste. You were way the fuck off, friend. You said it would be big shit. God damn, what a dumbass you are. If you were making a business investment, you were like five times wrong, dog. <laughs> Say it was say, sell about 10 mil. Bullshit. Shit's gonna sell about 2 mil and that's it. Suck a dick, dude. It sold 1 million in the first 24 hours. Not bad. And then it just kind of stopped. 
95% sale drop off after that. Right. Nah, man, that's it. Last of Us 2 broke records. It was it was like the best selling uh, PS PlayStation exclusive launch day of all time. I think it was. Yeah. Uh, and then Tears of the Kingdom sold 10 million copies in less than three days after launch. Holy shit! It was like record shattering. Nothing like that has ever been seen before in the Zelda franchise. I think Mario hasn't even done something like that. Maybe I could be wrong about that. So these are some pretty impressive sales records. So your big fucking game, Nazis, is Stellar Blade. Sold a little over a mil. That's about it. Look my shit, dude. That sucks. That ain't nothing. Whatever, dude. Game's not a big deal. So anyway, uh... They uh, don't like being reminded that they were wrong. Because, you know, nobody likes to look like they're stupid. But what if you're a fucking moron and you're always wrong all the fucking time and people like me are just like, dude, <laughs> you're so wrong all the fucking time. So I have to keep on telling you why you're wrong and stupid all the fucking time. All right. And this is how it's going to go. Like, I'm sorry, I'm that asshole who's literally following you around going, like, <laughs> you fell again. <laughs> like, sorry, dude. Like, you people uh, suck so hard and make life terrible for everyone, so you know, I might as well do the next best thing and get some enjoyment out of you. Anyway, um... So yeah, I like making fun of weirdos. It's fun shit. Um, man, I'm tired. I need to go to bed soon. What was I gonna say? Uh, we splash. I was gonna say that I think it's really fucking funny that all these weirdos are freaking out. And, uh, yeah, in order to distract from the fact that they were wrong, as usual, because they're stupid, they don't like looking wrong and stupid, especially because they went all in on this one. It was really dumb. They're trying to do, like, a Gamergate 2 revival. But all they're really doing is something that's being called Goonergate. It's just fucking stupid, man. It's, it's just memes shit. It's just really dumb. And uh, it's really funny, too, because, like, for every fucking incel loser dickhead who's trying to take this movement seriously, there's, like, another person who's just mocking them and just like, ha you're fucking stupid. Because guess what? They made up a controversy that some of the skimpy outfits that the characters can wear in the game that are supposed to be all sexy are not actually in the game, and they false advertised, and they lied to us. How dare they? I demand my money back. And a few thousand players have actually tried to get their money back with this kind of argument. And they've been pretty much laughed at. And it's just kind of created a, a funny thing that everyone's laughing about. I'm not going to lie, it's pretty fucking funny. <laughs> I think it's hilarious. Um, but anyway, um, yeah, it's also kind of sad though because it shows that a lot of gamers are depraved fucking weirdo creeps who don't know how to talk to women or any people really and oh boy a lot of losers out there man a lot of losers don't know how to interact in the real world don't have manners act like they've been raised in a barn I swear to god what are you gonna do though like I said, they're not educated. But anyway, 
Yeah, um, they made up this little controversy thing, and that's drawing attention away from the fact that they were wrong, as as usual, again, and no one should listen to them, and it's fucking sad that idiots often do, like, God, you people are fucking stupid. <laughs> Good God. Like, figure it out, man. People ain't your friend. Never join a Nazi movement. They'll turn on you. They'll call you a traitor. Like it's nothing. You have to be 100% perfect for them. You fuck up in whatever way that they feel like you fucked up in. Which could even mean something as easily as their mood. How they just feel about you in the moment. Like if you just bother them for that one day. Maybe your hair looked a certain way and they didn't like that. So now all of a sudden you're a piece of shit to them. And they're going to treat you like crap moving forward. Yeah, that kind of environment. You want to be part of that? That's what fascist environments are all about. And they're all about strength over weakness. So if anybody's showing weakness, they usually purge or kill or disown or do something bad to that person. You really want to be in those circles? That's fucking stupid, dude. You're going to get the shit kicked out of you, dude. They don't hang out with Nazi types. That's fucking dumb. Now, don't get me wrong, it might not take you, it might take you a second to find out who the bad guys are. You know, everybody starts somewhere. So, so apologies if I acted like a dickhead, dickhead to you, if you just don't really know who to trust. But, uh, go figure it out if you, uh, have a half a brain and you pay attention long enough. Oh, sorry, that was loud. But yeah, guys, so that's the deal with uh, the alt-right gamer gators and what they're up to. Um, I think it's fucking funny how stupid they are and how pathetic this movement is. Good God. I love it when this happens with those alt-right pieces of shit. I remember when, like, Captain Marvel was coming out and they were like, Captain Woman, Woman Superman, that's some cucked shit. That's some, like, gay shit, dude. Nobody wants to see that. Nobody, it's gonna sell, like, nothing. Nobody cares. And it made over, like, $1.3 billion. Like, Jesus Christ, dude. Now, I think that that lands in the top 50 best-selling opening weekend movies of all time or something like that. Like, it was actually pretty successful. Hey, what do you want, man? A lot of white ladies wanted to see, uh, you know. <laughs> what do you want, right? But anyway, um, yeah, and it's just like, you said nobody wanted to go see it, man. Trying to argue that it's a big flop, you know. Like, man, you creeps always do that. You always pretend something isn't as popular as you want it to be or something. Like, a lot of the Snyder cucks are trying to act like Rebel Moon is more popular than... Than we think, and it's like, no, dude, it, it it dropped from the number one spot in less than a week, dude. People really weren't feeling it. Like, oh, yeah, whatever. I'll watch it later. Who cares? I heard it was kind of the same movie, so whatever. Yeah, people don't give a shit, man. These things actually kind of fucking suck. Sometimes they do end up being kind of popular, but a lot of the time it's a fluke and. A lot of time it comes out at a time where nothing is really happening and a lot of people have saved up money and they all happen to dump it largely on the same thing, right? Who fucking knows, dude? Like, look at the Joker movie, you know? That's a stupid fucking movie. It's really boring, actually. A lot of thematic, la-la-la, opera shit, dancing around. It's kind of fucking boring. And I can prove it. Have you rewatched it a bunch of times? No, you fucking haven't. It's not that good. So, yeah, um, but I just love it when the alt-right dumb shits rally behind something that is just sort of like, eh, whatever. <laughs> Man, you guys are fucking pathetic and stupid.
But anyway, I'm tired. I'll talk about this shit later. I'm not done making fun of you guys, but I'm too tired. I gotta go to bed. I'm too tired. But, you know. I'm I'm, pu I'm pulling a a, 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 a sideshow Mel, you know. S stay by the restroom door so I can yell at you. <laughs> so I can still yell at you. Don't go anywhere. <laughs>